Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. Um, and you can see here that we're actually going to continue to use the Pythagorean theorem to help us find the distance between two points. And here's a nice example you can look at on your own later. I want you to notice in this sample picture, here were the two points that we wanted to find the distance between. So we were trying to find the length of this line. I want you to notice that if it's a diagonal line, you can't just count the spaces because it's going diagonally. But we can draw a right triangle between those two points and then use that information and the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So let's look at the first example. So I've given you the two points, 1, 1, and 6, 3. We already have our line. I can't count this. I can't count this to find the length. But I can draw a right triangle. Now, the, one of the trickiest parts on this is we have to make sure we're drawing a right triangle. So we got to keep everything straight. So I have here, it's even with the other point, and I have here. If I wanted to draw my triangle up above it, I could do that as well. Now the reason we draw a right triangle is if we have vertical and horizontal lines, we can actually count our units. So this would be one, two units, and then this one would be one, two, three, four, five units. And so now, when we look at our right Hopefully you're noticing that we know sides A and B. So A is 2, so we're just filling in our formula. I'm going to write it down just to remind you. Remember, it's really important to fill in the formula. Um, A is 2, B is 5, and we're trying to solve for C. C is going to be the distance or the length between those two points. 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, hopefully we realize that 4 plus 5 is 29, okay? Remember, if we have c squared, that is not um, our side length. Our next step is to then take the square root, and we would get that our c value is about, that's what these squiggle lines mean, about 5 I get 5.38516 on my calculator, and that would round to 5.4. Notice the directions up here said to round to the nearest tenth, so that's why I rounded it that way. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Okay, look at number two. See if you can draw the right triangle yourself. Take a minute, pause it, draw it yourself. Make sure you have a good right triangle drawn. Our right triangle should look like this. Okay. And then again, we're just counting our units. Okay. Our A value would again be 2. Our B value would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, we're just looking for our C value. Here is our right angle. We're looking for our C value. So 2 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. And um, you should be able to solve it from there. You should know what to do. 2 squared is 4. 6 squared is 36. 4 plus 6 is, I mean, 36 is 40. And then remember, our last step, if we're looking for a side length, is to take the square root. When you plug in the square root of 40, um, if you um, round it to the nearest tenths place, you should get 6.3. Okay, I want you to try the next problem on your own. Okay, I will tell you, even though our graph is going the other way, we still can draw our triangle just like that. So I want you to count your units and see if you can do it. Pause your video when you um, get your answer, raise your hand, and have me come check it. 
And then the problems down at the bottom, they are the same exact thing. They're just a little bit trickier um, because our points are not plotted for us. And so I just want to remind you in an ordered pair, the first number represents x, the second number represents y. So if you need to label your points to help you remember, do that. So the first thing I would have to do is plot my points. I've got x is 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, y is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so here's my first point. 0, 2, I start in the middle, 0, and then I would just go up 2. So here is my line um, that I'm trying to find the distance between. So now I would draw my right triangle. Down and across. And again, I'm going to count my sides. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And again, I'm going to fill in the Pythagorean theorem with my information. Okay, this would be 9 plus 16, which is 25. And then our last step is to take the square root. And so we would get C equals 5. Okay, let's look at the next two. I'm going to help you make sure that you've plot your points correctly. So again, I'd ask you to maybe pause the video, see if you can plot your points and draw your line, um, and then turn it back on and make sure that you've plotted your points correctly. For number 5, 0, negative 4 would be right here. Negative 3, 0, I'm going to go negative 3 and then zero, so not up or down. The line I'm trying to find the length of is right here. And so now I want you to try to do your right triangle and check and test it. For number six, negative one, one, it'd be negative one, and then positive one. Okay, and then for the next one, negative four, one, two, three, four, and then positive four, one, two, three, four. And so here is the line that I'm trying to find the distance between. Okay? Now you draw your right triangles and test your answers. And when you're ready to check, um, raise your hand and I will come check.